Well, if you're no stranger to exercise, and there's probably been a morning or two when you woke up to some pretty intense muscle soreness. But is muscle soreness a good thing? And if so, how much is too much? With us this morning to help us answer this aching question is our two news fitness expert, Wes Cole. Good morning. Good morning. A lot of muscle soreness. This happens to me all the time. Well, you know, and it's real common if you exercise. Everybody is woken up the next morning, kind of, kind of suffer. And so today we're going to kind of talk about what most muscle soreness is and why we should kind of take care of it. All right. You say the first one is don't be a pain seeker. I kind of like it though. Well, <laughs> exactly, and that's the problem. <laughs> so many people they go to the gym and they actually try to make themselves mm -hmm. sore, and they judge how good their workout was by how miserable they feel mm -hmm. the next morning. And even though there is some association between how, how sore you are and, you know, that you're working the muscle, you have to remember, especially if weight loss is your goal, that if you work yourself out so hard on Monday and yeah. you can't move till Friday, that's not going to really help your weight loss goal. So when I get a client that comes in, they really want to get in shape and lose about 10 or 15 mm -hmm. pounds, you really need to control muscle soreness and make sure that when you go into the, go into the gym that you work your muscle, but you don't just totally destroy it. Right. So. That's happened before. You work it out on a Monday and it's yeah. like, oh, you, I can't do anything you can't until do Friday. Anything until like Friday it's or a good Saturday. Excuse too, yeah, there we go. I'm too sore. <laughs> okay, the next one is heat feels good, but ice heals. Well, this goes to how, to how do we control the soreness? So many people, there's nothing feels better after a hard workout, like when, you're, when your muscle is real mm -hmm. sore than, than, than soak them, and the heat really relaxes the muscle. Right. Problem is, is that doesn't take down the inflammation like cryotherapy will, like okay. cold therapy. I did an internship with a, with a football coach, and he would have all of his football players basically do ice baths and mm -hmm. big trash cans and you mm -hmm. see you've seen professional yeah. athletes do this because it works that's a little extreme I don't expect anyone <laughs> to do ice baths I wouldn't do it but it just it's proof that if you're getting started to work out program make sure you have plenty of ice packs in the yeah. fridge and I guarantee it's not going to be near as pleasant but um, It'll help. it works it really does but skip the ice bath was that skip the ice bath <laughs> <laughs> okay and finally use the foam roller well um, Kyle here tell you what I'll just grab it right here he's asleep he's all right right here <laughs> This right here, I picked this up probably for about 40 bucks. Now, it would be ideal to get um, maybe a, a massage, but massages, they can be kind of expensive yeah. sometimes. This is very, very hard. It's, it's not what you would call pleasant, but you can get on it and you can roll okay. on it. And it, it's almost like a deep tissue massage. Mm -hmm. You can also roll on the back of your legs mm -hmm. where you just kind of sit down. Now, where'd you get something like this? Where'd you um, I got this at Home Fitness in the farm. And okay. It's only about 40 bucks. Then again, it's not very pleasant. I get my clients on this after. They, they get, mm -hmm. I get them on the ground and they really kind of roll and loosen up their muscles. It's, it, but it's not really meant to be real kind of of a relaxing massage. Right. It's really get the, the kind of the deep, 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 deep tissue, tissue, kind of relax the muscle, promote blood, blood flow, flow, and it would help. Okay. All right. Next, you say high rep exercise. Well, I tell people all the time, I know it seems kind of instinctual that when your muscles are real sore that you want to just do nothing. Right. But just like any doctor will tell you when you have a kind of a cold or anything, you do need to kind of get up moving around. When you do any type of high rep exercises like light walking, I mean by light stuff, you know, nothing, nothing too intense. Okay. It promotes blood flow. It promotes what we call nutrient transfer, which means you, your body can utilize the, the carbohydrates and protein that you're eating mm -hmm. and but just make sure that you kind of get up off the couch because it'll 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 actually make your soreness a little bit better but if you sit down when you have sore muscles and don't do anything it's just gonna it's gonna delay it all the right. healing process so do something do get something get up and move do okay. something all right good advice now time to answer a question from one of our viewers this question comes from Ben he says will drinking on the weekends affect my ability to build muscle well hmm. the, the problem is other than just empty high calories right. that alcohol can give you it also has a profound effect on your on your testosterone levels it tends to really reduce testosterone levels. and this is important for both men and women women yeah. don't have as high testosterone levels mm -hmm. as men do but it's important for both of us especially if a woman wants to tone up and especially for a man so I would keep the drinking to a minimum it's not just about the calories um, like I said hormonally there can be a lot of changes that a lot of alcohol can do that can that can hurt your progress so, so just stick to a couple times a month and if you have to drink stick to the dry wines that are low in sugar and okay. have a, a lower alcohol content okay. All right. Thank you, Wes. Thank you. If you have a question that you would like Wes to answer, just go to the weekend morning section of our website, kjrh.com. Click on the habitual health link or give Wes a call at 749-0960 or visit his gym on 46th, just east of Sheridan.